Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Spyro 3, You're the Dragon. I'm the Desain. In the last episode, we travelled to Spyro Town, where Spike's on a new power up, and we took on Scorch and made it here to Midnight Mountain. In this episode, we're going to just skip over the whole world and go take on the Sorceress. <laughs> There's actually a couple reasons why we're doing this. Um, the main one being that if you do it this way, you unlock Agent 9 without having to pay money bags to free him. And a couple of other things that I will show off in the next episode. Uh, please note that I do plan on 100%ing this game. I will be coming back and showing where, where and how to collect the rest of the eggs. But I won't actually be showing off me collecting all the gems, because like the crashing racing time trials, I believe that would be boring to watch. But with all that said, let's go see what's up with Bianca. You did it, Spyro! You found enough of the dragon eggs for me to unlock the portal. Jeez, Once don't be I too surprised. It, you can confront the sorceress whenever you're ready. But be careful. She'll be expecting you. She unlocks the door for us, and we can just waltz right in. The sad thing is, there's no actual cutscene for the sorceress like there are for the other bosses. Pretty much to save and the boss fight starts. And Agent 9 has something clever to say. <laughs> okay, so the sorceress has three attacks. The lightning balls that you see there. A melee attack, and which she'll just run straight at you and try and hit you with her wand. And a homing fireball attack, like so. Best way to avoid all these attacks is to just run around in the arena. Here comes the melee attack, as you can see. Agent 9's purpose in this fight is to pop those balloons in the air and drop us some ammunition, like Bentley did in the last fight. Uh, make sure to jump off the ammunition before she hits you with her fireballs, because that will actually take damage and it'll blow it up. Miles are just not bother taking the damage. Um, remember that you can actually see where the, the lightning balls are going to land by the shadows on the ground. Cool. So now we're on to the second phase where Agent 9 should hopefully drop us a new sort of thing to hurt the sorceress with. I thought one dropped on there. Wow, that was convenient. Right in front of me. It's basically, it's just a tank. And now we can aim at the bar. But try not to get too close to her because she'll throw you off it. So keep your distance and fire away. Ha, ah, cancel. Flight's been cancelled. To, yeah, just fire away. Just go to town on that. Didn't say that looked like a tank drop. And did. You're getting too close there, Miss Sorceress. Hey, look, a UFO. And that's actually the last part of this fight. She drops UFOs for us. Agent 9 does, I mean. Which, these actually don't have any ammunition limitations or fuel, so we can just fly around and hit her. One more hit, should do it. Now be careful, because these are a bit hard to... This is a bit hard to fly. As long as you just use right and left, it should stick close enough to the ground, you should be able to hit her. Unlike me, apparently. Base UFO just here. Yup. Got her. Cool. Yes, burn. All the suffering you made me go through. I wish I could fly like that. That'd be sweet. So that's it. Or is it? Dun dun dun!
Spyro, you've just defeated the sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon worlds. What do you plan to do next? Hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in Dragon Shores? Hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> Bentley's the best. <laughs> uh, you know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? Huh? Me? Oh, no, no. If I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Uh, maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. By a thousand years. <laughs> that would explain why the book was so cheap. Ugh. So, now that you're done saving the world again, are you gonna visit me in Avalar? Sure, Alora, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say, Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with... Uh, uh, -huh. uh Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoch over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoch? Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoch boy? Eat laser punk! Come on now, <laughs> they're hiding. Uh, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. But I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. Promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Now, how many times have I told you not to tease that moose? It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. Say. <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Aww. It's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. And as the credits roll, we take a tour to some of the through some of the levels that we visited. But uh, with not much else to say, I'm gonna call it here for now, guys. So this is the just saying sign out. Have fun and catch you later, guys.